Alright. Wasting some time here. <laughs> it's a replay sent in by Comrade Broski. Broski. Sorry. Um, and he is in the uh, Tier 10 Des Moines. Which is a ship that I'm probably really far, probably months away from. Because I'm a complete scrub at World War ships. I don't know if uh, y'all have discovered this yet. But anyways, nice, uh, cool looking ship. I'm looking forward to getting that eventually. And Warmaster is in the Zhao and Darren is in the uh, Yamato. So all three of these gentlemen are uh, members of the Black Fleet. Link in the description. Go check it out. Uh, we do allow everyone to join. Uh, depending on your, your desire and skill level, we'll kind of determine which uh, which part you can join. You may not be uh, interested in the competitive side or you know team battles or whatnot, but you can still can come in and uh, hang out and play divisions. Anyways, nice tier ten battle here. Uh, decent amount of tier tens. They do have, I would say, Comrade does have a Comrade's team does have a nice uh, advantage as far as the having your motto. This is me taking a picture. I recognize that from the thumbnail. Anyways, on to other things. And uh, War Master Chief is going back to the friendly. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna completely butcher this enunciation. The Hikiryu, however you say that, I, I don't know. Um, to uh, give him a ye old escort against the uh, enemy tier ten IGNCV, so he doesn't get uh, completely wrecked. It's always a, a friendly thing to do, and you know, comrade doing the, the decent thing with a division mate here, and giving a nice escort, nice slow uh, mosey on up to the A cap here. If I sound slightly tired, I, I am actually pretty tired. It's been a long day, I'm complaining about my life here. So man, work, gym, and then uh, making a custom walk-in closet for my wife. So. Completely done for today. <laughs> Some baked. Done. And Darren putting some shots out to that enemy turpits with the uh, Yamato. Let's see if that uh, gets a decent hit. No, that looks like it's going to be a miss. Three uh, enemy Shimakaze on the other team. Those can be extremely dangerous if they're uh, captained by some some good players. They can be completely huge pain. Comrade sending out some shells to this enemy of this Riker one 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 two. Not a big surprise that the Des Moines is detected. Yeah, you know, that's one thing. And the shell velocity on the Des Moines has a nice range, 18 kilometers. It's nice, but man, that shell velocity is uh, something to be. And it's just, it's bad. It's reminds you of the Cleveland, but you do have nice bigger guns. A nice hit by Darren there, I believe. And Friendly Fetcher has captured A, but B and C has fallen to the enemy team. Looks like they are, that Fletcher is trying to capture uh, capture B back, but he just got uh, deleted. And it's never for any fun when uh, enemy enemy CV just goes after their shores. It's a good tactic, and you can do it with those higher tier carriers. You can just completely swarm the... Uh, Enemy destroyers, yeah. Torpedoes. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that's a good thing about uh, actually escorting your bigger battleships and cruisers. Comrade's doing here. It does give them time, a lot more time to turn. I think Darren may actually take. See if we hear Darren take any torpedoes. I don't. I think they all missed. Good luck, 
And since the enemy CV did not uh, try to sneak anybody around, War Master is not going to escort him anymore. Try to get up here into the fight with the uh, two fellows. CV sniping at higher tiers is definitely a thing. That's it seems like it doesn't work so well at uh, tier 7 and 8. Uh, but higher tiers they can uh, destroy their, their enemies there. Shimikaze. Took out the engine. Has the last stand, obviously. And <laughs> the enemy team just... Uh, in full retreat from ACAP. And Comrade still giving a really close escort to uh, Darren here. Looks like Darren's going to take one torpedo. Although Yamato has really, like, well, I believe it's the best uh, torpedo defense as far as uh, the bulges on it. Does mitigate a lot of that damage. And enemy Izumo and Iowa showing broadside to Darren. That's a it's not the most uh, advisable thing to do. It's like comrades looking out for these enemy destroyers, and they're whoo! <laughs> that's that's a full uh, shimmer spread right there. Let's see if Darren takes any. We'll hear it if he does. Doesn't look like it, or sound like it, to be more exact. Enemy torpedo bombers coming in. Silly fellows, they, they can't uh, call this, uh, call the fire from this Des Moines. Des Moines is going to wreck those guys. And Comrade hasn't even used his bullet in his. Did a pretty good job of taking out the fighters. Assuming he's uh, targeting them right there. It doesn't show up in replays, unfortunately. More torpedoes. That Shimmy got away with 29 health. Hopefully, Comrade can delete them here. There's the kill. And uh, enemy Mutsuki. Silly destroyers. This is when the uh, Des Moines really comes into its own here with not the best uh, shell velocity, but you have that impressive fire. Fire rate. Swing and a miss there by Comrade. Nice hit. That guy should be dead. And there he goes. <laughs> Comrade gets the uh, close quarter. Expert with the kill on that Mitsuki with secondaries. Turning back around. Hikiryu. Enemy here. Hikiryu is targeted. And he is close. Darren probably could have done a lot of damage to him, but uh, he's engaging the enemy Azumo. Azumo's running away are, man, they're actually not too weak. That guy's showing a good broadside, though. Let's see how it works out for him. And Darren is without an escort, and he's. he's Fairly large number of enemy vessels. Comrades switching fire to the Mikhail. Definitely want to run that Mikhail off when I'm burning down the Yamato. You get some decent hits on that Zumo with uh, a few rounds there. And I didn't notice it. Maybe it was a glitch. I did not see if. Uh, Darren had used, uh, when he used his AA ability, but he did. More torps. Darren just under constant torpedo attack. That was irritating, but when that happens, Yamato shooting at all those uh, shells. Watch all the fireworks. <laughs> it's kind of silly. All good fun though. Nice two Citadel hits against that uh, Mikhail Kusev. One good thing about really bad uh, shell velocity, you do get a nice arc over the islands. And 
Darren just uh, shooting down as many planes as he can. Looks like, man, uh, hmm. Yeah, Darren's gonna take one more of those. Yamato can take a lot of torps, but uh, the flooding will eat you up pretty quick in that. Enemy kill you is run away. Don't quite know what this Fletcher's plan was, besides getting in the way of <laughs> Comrade here. But okay. It looks like Comrade's trying to light this uh, carrier on fire. Switching to the Azumo. Probably better to kill him. Especially since the carriers disappeared now. Fast, sneaky uh, Aegean carriers, man. And switching to Mikhail. Hopefully, you can kill this Mikhail with some good AP fire. He did switch to AP. Kale's pretty weak in this situation. Yeah, that's a nice volley. Oh yeah. You get within this kind of range of a Des Moines, you're just asking for problems. <laughs> uh. yeah, looks like uh, Darren is probably going to go down pretty quick here. Just too many. Uh, too many. With a, a solid, uh, solid escort, the like, tier 10 can really just put the hurt on a Yamato. Really big hit from that uh, Ibuki. Comrade return and fire. Destroy it. It's arrow to the knee. And a bit overshot on there. And Comrade's taking a lot of damage. A lot of torpedoes coming in. Get the turn. Wow. Oh, wow. Three Citadel hits. <laughs> and the torpedoes, thankfully, running out. That is always welcome. Did lose his uh, back turret, got knocked out, but it is back again. Nice quick reload, always helps. And that uh, here, Kiryu, is really, really going for uh, Comrade here. And he did have a nice Citadel hit. Another Citadel on the Ibuki. Does land a torpedo hit. That's painful. Ooh. Comrade is in some trouble here. He does need to kill something. Hopefully, the enemy Ibuki, I think, is going to probably switch fire to the uh, friendly cure you but he shouldn't uh, be too big of a deal he is really beat up and rate of fire into this guy should allow comrade to kill this Zemo pretty quick yeah nice big hits against that guy HE damage to the back of those Azumos that's one thing about Azumo running away you can that the back end of that ship is so squishy more torpedo bombers <laughs> uh, they never run out. They just they just don't run out. Never ending stream of ships. Not really too much you can do against a one that is not preoccupied with something else. Let's see if Comrade can get this kill. Just a few more hits into them. Almost dead. Mm. So is Comrade. Choose life! Max probably gonna win by points here, or if that guy dies, that looks like those look like good rounds. There it is. Alrighty. And that is it. Five kills, six citadels, and uh, 53 planes shot down. That is a really good game. Nice, uh, nice to see the Des Moines actually do some good can do uh, do well in the right circumstances even though it is probably the least uh, appreciated tier 10 cruiser as far as uh, what people say about it really high credit earnings for that match very nice that's always uh, fun to do anyways and uh, unfortunately it does look like he did get over 4,000 base XP uh, he did have something over the team score when he uh, 
when he took the old uh, screenshot, but you know, I kind of get the gist of it. Top of like just far and away the uh, highest contributor to the team, and really nice uh, damage output 138,000 damage, 14 minutes, and uh, can't beat that any day. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, come back and see me.